Rada. Wrzucę obraz, kolega dźwięk, bo widzę, że tutaj jest poskodany. Nagłośnienie. Nie, 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 nie,
Oczywiście w ciągu dwóch godzin nie zobaczymy wszystkich technik drzewnych, bo to nam zajęłoby znacznie więcej czasu. Jest wiele różnych podejść, więc nie da się tego zrobić w ciągu dwóch godzin. Within two hours, we should at least be able to show you why we actually do this sort of techniques and if they actually work. Ale w ciągu tych dwóch godzin powinniśmy zdążyć pokazać wam dlaczego wykonujemy techniki trzebne i czy one faktycznie działają. Very often there's a bit of controversy whether actually you can do something on the bowel, can you actually do something on the liver? A często pojawiają się kontrowersyjne zdania, czy da się coś zrobić z jelitem, czy da się coś zrobić z wątrobą. And even me personally, when I was a student and I was listening to my teachers of this role, I very often thought, you don't actually know how it works, do you? A nawet kiedy on sam był studentem, a kiedy wysłuchiwał swoich a, a, wykładowców terapii trzewnej, zastanawiał się, że tak naprawdę nie wiecie, jak to działa, prawda? I was not the nicest student for the teachers. Nie był najlepszym, najmilszym studentem dla wykładowcy. They gave me the nickname in Polish, it's Pineska. A po polsku jego ksywką była Pineska. Because I was always asking annoying questions. No zawsze pytał, upiedli, zadawał upiedliwe pytania. Okay, how does that work? Dobra, a jak to działa? Explain it to me. Proszę, mógłby pan mi wyjaśnić? A jaka jest fizjologia tego? I po jakimś czasie większość wykładowców stwierdzała, że Henry by sobie strzelił w głowę. Personally, I think it's very annoying if you get learned something by teacher, taught something by teacher. Okay, just it is like it is because I'm saying it is like that. Ale uważam, że dla większości osób jest to bardzo denerwujące uczyć się czegoś, bo ktoś tak powiedział. Tak jest, bo ja tak mówię. That's a very typical authority-based education. You know, the teacher says, "Do this test. It's like that, and the outcome is like that. A or B, and that's what you have to do." A jest to bardzo autorytarne podejście do kształcenia. Tu macie taką sytuację, robicie na to to, czyli sytuację A, wykonujecie sytuację procedurę B, i tak ma być. The question is, how does it work? Pytanie brzmi, jak to działa? Because if you don't know how something works, how the hell can you apply it? Bo jeśli nie wiecie, jak coś działa, to jak możecie to wykorzystać? How can you actually do therapy if you don't know what these two are doing on the patient? A jak możecie wykonać z tego terapię, jeżeli nie wiecie, co te dwie ręce robią? Now, when it comes to musculoskeletal techniques, most people are acquainted with that. They know about that. They seem to be quite okay with that. 
O, zazwyczaj jeśli chodzi o techniki e, mięśniowości ledowe, większość ludzi jest mniej zaznajomiona, wie jak je wykorzystywać. Because it's close to what they have been taught at university, especially when you did physiotherapy, especially also if you did medicine, you understand what you're talking about. A to jest coś, co jest im znane, też ze studiów fizjoterapii, a też ze studiów lekarskich, oni wtedy wiedzą, co robią. The neurological system is clear, it's easy, it's understandable, you can tak. actually even feel it. A to a, układy nerwowe neurologiczne jest proste, jest jasne, możesz to wyczuć. But when we go to the autonomous nervous system, if we go to the organs, it's all a bit vague, isn't it? Ale przechodzimy do autonomicznego układu nerwowego, przechodzimy do trzewi, to wszystko zaczyna się być trochę rozmyte. And that makes it, when you start to work on those as a therapy, even more vague. People go like, really? You do that? A kiedy przechodzimy do terapii tego, to już by się jeszcze bardziej rozmyte, bo ci widzę, to na pewno na terapii to robisz. Very often when you see those courses on physical therapy, then it's just the teacher, you put your hand there, you pull in that direction, that's what you do. Are you sure? Why is it going to change anything? Okay, i dlaczego coś tam się zmieni? And why the heck should I work on balance? I po co właściwie miałbym pracować nad jelitem? Is it going to make any difference? Czy to wniesie cokolwiek? So, what are we going to be talking about? O czym będziemy mówić? First of all, you need to understand why you would actually do physical therapy, why you would work on the organs of the patient. Pierwsze co tam musicie zrozumieć, jak działa ta terapia trzewna, co możecie, dlaczego pracujemy na narządach? Most of you understand why you want to work on the musculoskeletal system, skin, muscles, and tendons. Okay, you know why the vertebrae and articulations. You have ideas on why to do that. Uh, układzie mięśniowości ledowe zazwyczaj wiecie dlaczego chcecie tam pracować nad skórą, mięśniami, ścieniami, nad stawami. Wiecie o co? How does it actually work? Ale jak to działa? Because when I ask you, when you do a muscle stretch, why do you do that? Jak was zapyta, jak robicie rozciąganie mięśnia, to po co to robicie? Any idea? Jakiś pomysł? To stretch the muscle. Żeby rozciągnąć mięśnie. That's of course very clear, but no, why? That doesn't work. Ale dlaczego? Jak to działa? Why, when you pull a muscle, would it release? Dlaczego, kiedy ciągniecie za mięsień, to on odpuści? Or maybe sometimes you try to stretch it, and it actually becomes more spastic. A może czasami Hypertonic. próbujecie go rozciągnąć, a on się robi jeszcze bardziej spastyczny, hipertoniczny? Any idea? Jakiś pomysł? Do bodźcowania receptorów? A, a, a stimulating of the receptors? Exactly. So, you need to always think of what you're doing. <coughs> Now, when it comes to the musculoskeletal system, for most people, you know the muscle spindles and you know what their effect is and you can work with them. But when you go to the visceral system, it all becomes a little bit more difficult, doesn't it? So we need to explain mechanically how is it working. And also look at the neurology. I przyjrzeć się na We're going to spare you a little bit. We'll not dive into the endocrinology too much because that's going to kill you. A więc was tylko oszczędzi. Nie będziemy się zakończyć w endokrinologię, bo to was by zabiło. And in the end, we're going to look at just some, some techniques, just an applies of the techniques, and so you can feel what you just understood, and maybe also a case that we're going to solve together, so you understand how an osteopath applies his visceral knowledge into solving a patient's case problem. A potem będzie przykładowa technika czy dwie, żebyście a, faktycznie poczuli, co żeście właśnie zrozumieli i potem jeszcze a, może rozwiążemy wspólnie z drugim studium przypadku, a, żebyście spróbowali pomyśleć, a, jak zobaczyli, jak osteopata wykorzystuje tę wiedzę. Now, when you mobilize organs, you're not just mobilizing the mobility of the organs, also the motility of the organs. A, kiedy robicie mobilizację narządów, to nie tylko poprawiacie ich ruchomość, ale też motylność. What's the difference? Czym się to różni? The mobility is the movement that the organs have under the influence of the diaphragmatic breathing. Mobilność to ruchomość, a to jest ten zakres ruchomości narządów, który, a, która pochodzi, czy jest, a, a, pochodzi od ruchu przepony w trakcie oddychania. The motility is the movement the organs have themselves. Motylność to jest ruch, a który narząd ma sam w sobie. As a consequence of their own cellular activity. A jako skutek ich aktywności komórkowej. However, to come back to that, you would probably think, well, that's not going to move a lot. I don't think my power is actually moving up and down or moving any left and right. Okay, so you say, okay, no, ale to nie może być aż taki wielki ruch. Nie czuję, że moje jelito jeździło góra z dołu, prawo w lewo. Because when you look at your natural atlas, it looks very static, doesn't it? Tak, patrzycie na atlas anatomiczny, to wszystko jest takie statyczne, prawda? When your professor says, oh, yeah, the arm moves, you're like, yeah, that's clear, I can see that. Jak pan wykładowca mówi, że ja myślę, że ja mu tak, jasne widzę to. 
The fact that your kidney on the right probably walks more on the day than you do, it's approximately six kilometers on a day it actually spreads. You didn't know that. Ale to, że wasza neta prawdopodobnie dziennie pokonuje więcej kilometrów niż wy, bo około 6 kilometrów dziennie pokonuje, to tego pewnie nie wiedzieliście. So, much like your musculoskeletal system, your organs have real articulations. They really slide and glide opposite to each other. They have ligaments connecting each other. A i tak jak w waszym e, układzie jelitowo-szkieletowym, wasze trzewia, narządy też mają, między nimi są prawdziwe stawy, też ślizgają się a względem siebie, też mają wiedzę, do której łączy. They have a neurology, which supports that, and of course you will literally see that the function of these organs is very greatly dependent on the normal movement or mobility of these organs. A wspiera jest to oczywiście przez układ nerwowy plus a ich funkcja, funkcja tych narządów będzie w dużej mierze zależna od e, zakresu ruchomości. Now, like in the musculoskeletal system, where you have your synovial joints and your articulations, this is exactly the same thing that you find in your visceral system. A jak układzie mięśniowo-szkieletowym, gdzie mamy naszą głonę mazią, mamy płon mazią, to jest dokładnie tak samo. The difference here is, okay, yes, there are ligaments connecting structures to each other. A jaka jest różnica? Owszem, mamy więzy dołączone struktury ze sobą. But all of these structures in your abdomen, if you look at this transverse section, ale wszystkie te trzewia, jak patrzymy na przebieg po przeszłym brzuchu, why don't they just drop to the bottom? To czemu one nie spadają po prostu w dół? Any idea? Jakiś pomysł? It would be a lovely sight. To byłoby dużo chętne. Yeah, having a belly here, brzuch wydęty tutaj, pełen narządów. Why does that not happen? Czemu tak się nie dzieje? Because there are different pressures. There's a difference in pressure, yeah, but after a while, you know, if you just relax. Okay, jest różnica ciśnienia, ale po jakimś czasie, jak się rozluźni, pressure is one thing. To ciśnienie to jest jedna rzecz. I agree. Is it okay. normal pressure? Zgadzam się, jest ciśnienie wewnętrzne. Why do you move that top, not drop to the bottom? Okay, ale to taki raz, czemu to, co jest w górnej części jamy brzucha, nie spada w dół? Potrzebna. A, potrzebna. Very good. Bardzo dobrze. When you look at the abdominal cavity, the peritoneum, okay, is a sheet which is always covering, in case of an intestine, which is covering the intestine coming from the, uh, the back of the patient, going to the intestine, going around it, and going back to the back. Odszewna, tutaj w przypadku jelita, to jest struktura, która biegnie od pleców pacjenta, otacza to jelito i po otoczeniu objazdu z powrotem do pleców. So as you can see, even in this cross section, every organ is surrounded with it and it goes back to the back. Jak widzicie na tym przebiegu, każdy narząd jest tak otoczony i ta obszerna wraca do tyłu. This is why you literally find ligamentous structures connecting different organs, but also connecting organs to the wall of the patient's back. A stąd też znajdujemy połączenia więzadłowe łączące nie tylko narządy między sobą, ale też przyczepiające je do ściany brzucha. Nice example. Okay, take your small intestine. A to na przykład wasze jelito cienkie. When you see those horror movies and they gut somebody open. A jak macie horrory, gdzie ktoś reszci na jamę brzucha, na przykład powiesz, the organs fall out. To flaki wypadają. And when you watch these very nice series on television, reality television, and they open up the abdomen, and the organs come out like a eel coming out of the abdomen of the patient. A jak oglądacie takie Programy typu reality TV, gdzie czytają po głowie brzuszne i wyglądają jak bęgo z błażący brzucha. But do they fall onto the floor? Ale czy wypadają flaki na łapodłowie? There's six meters of them, it should actually go like fuh, 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 and fall onto the floor. To jest sześć metrów, czy one faktycznie tak wypadają na podłogę? Like a water hose unrolling itself. No jakby wąż ogrodowy, który by się rozwinął. Now why does that not happen? Dlaczego tak się nie dzieje? Because the mesenterium, which is the double fold of that peritoneum, is holding these organs in place. A dlaczego tak się nie dzieje? No bo kreska, czyli ten podwójny fałd odszerny przytrzymuje narządy w miejscu. And actually the small intestine is completely fixed to the back of your uh, body and the abdominal wall and it's literally got a name for that. It's called the radix mesentericus, which is the root of the mesentery. A i jelita cienkie tak naprawdę jest całkowicie przyczepiona do tylnej ściany uh, brzucha, a strukturą, która ma swoją nazwę korzeń kreski. But it would be very bad if these organs couldn't move. Ale to byłoby bardzo kiepsko, gdyby te narządy nie mogły się ruszać. Ladies, imagine you get pregnant and the organs wouldn't move. Panie, wyobraźcie sobie, że zachodzicie w ciąży i wasze narządy nie mogą się ruszać. The baby would not be very satisfied. Dziecko nie byłoby zachwycone. Yeah, it would mainly would grow, it would just fall out at 20 weeks. So, yeah, sorry, there was no movement upwards. Zamiast robić się, zamiast rosnąć, to po 20 tygodniach wypadłoby na podłogę, no bo już nie ma miejsca, żeby się, żeby rosnąć. 
Yeah, constantly your organs are moving. And you will be surprised how much they move. A wasze urządy cały czas się ruszają i byś, be, będziecie zaskoczeni, ile tego jogu tam jest. How are they able to move? A jak one się mogą ruszać? Well, you can actually compare it to the same mobility that you see in articulations. A więc a tą ruchomość możemy postrzegać też jak nasz ruch uh, w stawie. What do we have in articulation? Co w stawie? You have? Mamy tutaj... What is that? Co to jest to? Capsule, synovium. Okay, okay, good. What's Capsule, inside these synovium? Co jest wewnątrz tego? Tej idei. Synovial fluid, good. Płyn maziowy, tak. Why do you have that? Why do we have synovial fluid? Po co nam płyn maziowy? Nutrition and? Nutrition and? Smearing, so. Very good. Lubricating the joint, good. Okay, and you got joint surfaces. I mamy też powierzchnię stawowe dwóch kości. When you look at the abdominal cavity, it's exactly the same. Jak patrzymy na janek brzucha, jest dokładnie tak samo. You got your peritoneum, which is like your synovial capsule. Mamy odszerno, która jest niczym a nasza delka stawu. And that is constantly secreting peritoneal fluid, and it's also reabsorbing it. I odszerno cały czas wydziela płyn odszernowy i go wchłania. And if we would be two organs, we are nicely able to fly each other. Yeah. Like two bodies full of oil. Yeah. So that makes it very nicely lubricated and we like really move very easily opposite to each other. Okay. Now that is because of the peritoneum and its peritoneal fluid. A to ze względu na odszerno i płyn odszernowy. So you can actually compare it to your musculoskeletal system. It's not directly the same, of course. A w ten sposób możemy to przyrównać do składu mięśniowo-szkieletowego. Nie jest to dokładnie tak samo. Whenever you're eating, whenever you're digesting, whenever you are breathing, whenever your heart is beating, constantly organs are moving one opposite to the next. Ale cały czas, kiedy robicie, kiedy oddychacie, kiedy bije wam serce, cały czas narządy ruszają się jeden względem drugiego. Just look at the movement of swallowing again. Okay, tasty piece of pizza. Okay. Patient swallows. Yeah, look at that. Moving, moving. Stretching, moving. Yeah. Look at the movement of the esophagus. And then when it goes down, it goes into your stomach. A potem jak schodzi w dół, wpada do żołądka. You keep on moving. To wszystko dalej będzie się ruszać. And all the organs have to move one of them to the other. I teraz każdy z tych narządów musi ruszać się względem pozostałych. Although this is an animation, and I know, look at how constantly these organs, as I said, like lubricated bodies, are moving up to each other. I pomimo tego, że jest animacja, zobaczcie jak ciągle te narządy ruszają się względem siebie. Because if you want to have that peristalsis, especially when you get into the greater test time, you need to be able to move. Bo jeżeli chcecie, żeby wystąpiło zjawisko peristaltyki, zwłaszcza w jelicie wiodłym, no to musi być to w środku. You compromise the good nutritional exchange. W przeciwnym razie zaburzymy dobrą wymianę substancji odżywczych. Look at the peristalsis. You can see the contraction pushing the stool down. Now imagine that's not possible. I know it's an animation. In a second, I will show you a real live body with stool inside. So visible articulations, from a mechanical point of view, are mostly the same as what you see in the musculoskeletal system. Z takiego punktu mechanicznego, z punktu widzenia mechanicznego, one są jak stawy w układzie mięśniowo-szkieletowym. And I think the people who did some fascia techniques at the end, or whatever you like as a as a model, okay, you probably have talked about the importance of fascia being able to move one opposite to the other. A jak to się w jakoś lepiej powięziło FDM, czy jakikolwiek inny model, to pewnie usłyszeliście, jak ważne jest to, że powięzi były w stanie ruszać jedna względem drugiej. Tak samo jest przytrzewia. Now, a good helping guide for you guys, okay, if you want to uncover, although you may not have all the knowledge yet, the viscera, okay, this is a good timetable to know whether a patient has a visceral problem caused by the food they're eating. A więc tutaj macie dobry schemat, a pomimo tego, że jeszcze nie wiecie wszystkiego o otrzewiach, to tutaj jest dobry schemat, żeby odkryć, czy dolegliwości pacjenta wynikają z problemów trzewnych w związku z tym, co zjedli. 
Now, when a patient is expressing rectal problems, okay, and they just ate a piece of pizza, it's probably not because of the pizza, because the pizza is definitely not at the rectum yet. So, when a patient is expressing complaints already, pain or discomfort, immediately when they swallow something, think of the esophagus and even a little bit later of the stomach. Ale jeżeli pacjent zgłasza dolegliwości, dyskomfort, a od razu po zjedzeniu, po przepięciu, albo chwilę później, to przełek, to myślę też o żołądku. The food can easily spend one hour to three hours in the uh, stomach before it goes to the duodenum. A jedzenie może spędzić uh, od godzin do trzech w żołądku, zanim zostanie prze, uh, przetransportowane do dwunastnicy. Then it will spend seven to nine hours in your small intestine. Potem siedem do dziewięciu godzin spędzi w wielki cienkim. And then it will move on to the large intestine. Potem przejdzie do jelita biowego. And now already 25 hours have passed. That's like a whole day before the food is in the big intestine. A czy to jest po 25 godzinach, czyli cały dzień właściwie minął odkąd coś zjedliśmy. And before it arrives at the final destination. A zanim dojdzie do naszego punktu docelowego. Just before the toilet. Tuż przed toaletą. Okay, being in the rectum. W sensie w odbytnicy. This can be more than a day or even three days later. To będzie więcej niż jedna doba, a nawet to może być o trzy dni. Depending on how good your peristalsis is. W zależności od tego, jak dobrą peristaltykę macie. Because as you probably know, some patients have problems, obstipation, and they sometimes can only go to the large toilet, or the number two, every four or five days. A bo jak wiecie, niektórzy mają problemy z zapaleciami i na dwójkę chodzą tylko raz na cztery, pięć dni. Okay, I'll just darken the lights a little bit more, because we're going to be looking at fluoroscopies. Okay, więc przygasimy trochę światło, bo będziemy patrzeć na fluoroskopię. Okay, now, for those who don't know the diaphragma, okay, some people in the room probably know it better than others. Diaphragma, two domes, on the right side a little bit higher than on the left side. Okay, więc dla osób, które nie są zaznajomione z przeponą, a pewnie niektórzy są bardziej niż inni, a niemniej mamy dwie popowy. Here it is. This is actually causing the movement on your intestines. A to jest tak naprawdę, co powoduje, że nasze jelito się rusza. You can see the left dome. Mamy lewą popowę. And the right dome. I prawą. Okay, now look at the movement it makes. Zobaczcie, jak ten ruch wygląda. Okay. That is 10 to 20 centimeters of movement. To jest 10 do 20 centymetrów ruchu. Not a lot of things in your body move as much as that. A nie wiele rzeczy w waszym ciele się rusza aż tak bardzo. Okay. Now this is just a diaphragm. I'm just showing you that to show you in a minute the effect it will have on the stomach. A to jest tylko przekłada. Pokazuję wam ten ruch po to, żebyście za chwilę zobaczyli jaki będzie jej wpływ na żołądek. Okay. The stomach is quite bean shaped. A żołądek jest taki fasolkowaty w kształcie. And if you look at it laterally, there it is. Bocznie na niego, tutaj jest żołądek. Now, this is the diaphragma. To jest przepona. Okay, look how it goes up. Now, this is fine, so you can see the amount of movement. To jest ten rozwój, więc widzicie, jest to jest wolności, to jest serce. Now, watch how the heart is being stretched by the diaphragma. Zobaczcie, jak serce jest rozciągane przez przepona. Each time you breathe in that. This is one vertical level, so just to give you an idea of the amount of movement. Przy każdym wdechu i wydechu to jest jeden, po, uh, jeden ten, więc to wam daje pojęcie, jak duży jest ten zakres ruchomości. Okay, you can see the beating of the heart, but the heart is constantly being pulled down and up. Down and up. Widzicie tutaj bijące serce, ale widzicie też, że cały czas jest ściągane w dół i ściągane i podnoszone jest powiatem. Side of the liver. Tu mamy stronę pątrową. Okay, what's the breathing? Zobaczcie, jak wygląda przy wdechu. In and out. I wydech. Okay. Four rib levels up. The second one will go back to the stomach. Po za chwilę wrócimy do żołądka. But I'll show you an image from another point of view in a second. A za chwilę zobaczycie obraz innego punktu widzenia. Why is the stomach empty at the top, where it looks like it's empty? A dlaczego żołądek jest pusty, bo wygląda jak gdyby był pusty na górze? Because in the top of the stomach there's always air. Bo w górnej części żołądka zawsze jest powietrze. Okay, in front of the stomach you never find food. A w dnie żołądka nie znajdujecie jedzenia. Sometimes there is more air. Tam jest czasami więcej powietrza. This is why you start to burp. To i wtedy zaczyna wam się odbijać. That's when the air can escape via the entrance of the stomach, the cardia, into your esophagus again, and then you burp. A wtedy to powietrze może się wydostać przez pust żołądka do przełyku i na zewnątrz. Let's look at another one. Okay, inny. And this is the effect of pathology. To jest tutaj efekt pathologii. And that's what I want to show you as a mechanic. A to jest to, co wam chciał pokazać jako ten mechaniczny. Because when do we say joint is deficient? 
A po prostu sklidła. Mówimy, że mamy jakąś dysfunkcję czy niewydolność stawu w układzie myślowo-szkieletowym. When it's not? Kiedy jest, nie? Moving. Kiedy się nie już. Okay, we assess the mobility, we test the range of motion in the different directions the joint can move. A oceniamy chomość, zakresy chomości w różnych kierunkach, w jakich w tej stawie może się ruszać. And we check the i sprawdzamy chomość. If the range of motion is limited, you conclude there's a dysfunction. Jeżeli zakres chomości jest ograniczony, no to wnioskujecie, że jest jakaś dysfunkcja, może jest to wzorzec okay. problemu. And you try to search for the origin of the problem. I staracie się znaleźć yeah. źródło przyczyny problemu. When the stomach is healthy, this is the movement it makes. Gdy żołądek jest zdrowy, to tak wygląda jego ruch. So as you can see, the stomach does not look as beautiful as it does in the natural eyes, does it? A więc jak widzicie, żołądek nie jest aż taki piękny, jak w ogóle się na teo. It looks more like a deflated doodle sack than actually a real stomach of the natural eyes, does it? Bardziej wygląda jak spompowane dudy, aniżeli ten żołądek z atlasu na teo. But, look at the difference of movement. When this patient breathes in and out, you can see the stomach being pushed down, forwards and down. A więc zobaczcie, jak przy wdechu żołądek jest spychany w dół i wraca z powrotem. This is a patient with stomach problems. To jest pacjent z problemem z żołądkiem. Although the patient is breathing and you can see the large intestine move, the stomach is totally immobile. Pomimo tego, że pacjent oddycha i widzimy, jak jemi to wygo się rusza, to żołądek jest nieruchomy. Stomach that doesn't move will lead to this, uh, dyspepsia. A żołądek, który się nie rusza, będzie prowadził do dyspepsji. These are the people who they eat. And immediately, one hour after dinner, they go. To jest ten typ człowieka, który nie, a potem po godzinie odjeżdża ma taką reakcję. And it's not always air coming up. I to nie zawsze powietrze uchodzi. And some of your patients will say, "I feel full very quickly." A nie tuszy wasi pacjenci powiedzą nam, że szybko czują się pełni po posiłku. Because the stomach does not digest properly. Bo żołądek nie rtiawi właściwie. Let me give you another example. Inny przykład. To do the inny. To po nas. Okay, this is the second part. After you come into the stomach, you go into the duodenum. Very important part of your gastrointestinal system. Oh, here you can see how massive the movement is. Tutaj możecie zobaczyć, jak olbrzymi jest ten ruch. That's one vertical level you can see the spinous processes even. Tutaj macie jeden poziom kręgu, widzicie też wrzeski kolczyste. And normally a duodenum. When your diaphragm comes down, it will be compacted. It will turn in. It's like a hoof iron. Okay, it will just be compacted inwards. Ah, normally, przepona, normally, dwa miesiące przy ruchach przepony, a jak jest ma kształt taki podkowy, to będzie się zapada, będzie zmniejszało się, zbliżało się jej krańce. Now you can see the stomach is up there. This is the pylorus. A widzicie tutaj na górze jest żołądek, kom ma dźwięk. Connected to the first part of the duodenum. A w tej łączy żołądek z pierwszą częścią dwunastnicy. Second part of the duodenum. Tu jest druga część dwunastnicy, trzecia. And then you got the duodenal fourth part with the duodenal junction up here. Potem jest czwarta, a potem trzecie dwunastnicze czcze. Do you see how that moves up and down three to four levels? Widzicie jak to się przemieszcza trzy te poziomy w górę i w dół. So that means if you look at the spine, so I'll not just push him up in the muscle. That's going up and down quite a lot. Do do she and she's up in the spine. So if you look at her skeleton here, let's see, 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 i do góry. Down. Do. Up. Each time you breathe in. Przy każdym wdechu. Out. I wydech. In. Wdech. Out. I wydech. Okay. And hundreds times a day. Hundreds times a day? How many times do we breathe in? Set razy dziennie. Ile razy do wdech dziennie? Now. Ile razy wdechamy dziennie? Twenty thousand times. Dwadzieścia tysięcy razy średnio każdego dnia. To give you an example, your right kidney, under the influence of the diaphragm, although it's quite fixated, it moves three centimeters. Three centimeters. Twenty thousand times a day. Twenty thousand times a day. Six kilometers a day. W sumie sześć kilometrów dziennie. So sometimes your kidney is doing more on a day than you do. Czasami wasze nerki popłynęły większą odległość niż wy. Now that mobility of these organs is very important because I will show you that if that gets compromised, 
Przerwowość narządów jest bardzo ważna, bo ja wam za chwilę pokażę, jak to jest zaburzone. Ok, look at this one, that's a healthy one. Tutaj mieliśmy prawidłowy obraz. There you go, the pylorus. Ok, this is a dysfunction of the buridium. That's the healthy one. Tutaj macie dysfunkcję dwunastnic, to jak z lewej jest. See the difference? Prawidłowy obraz i dwie różnice. Tim, what the hell is that? Tim, co to jest? Well, that stool, which is not passing anymore. To jest stolec, który się już nie przesuwa. It's food, which is getting blocked in the normal transit process. A to jest potem, to jest jedzenie, które utknęło w normalnym transycie. You can see the patient is breathing. Widzicie, że pacjent oddycha. But is the duodenum moving? A czy to jest coś najlepsze? Not at all. Wcale. Okay. What will be the consequence of duodenal obstructions or problems? Jaki będzie skutek zablokowania, czy zapalcia embryo w brastnicy? What will the patient say? Co wam pacjent powie? Not reflux, that will rather be stomach problems. Nie będzie reflux, to będzie jakiś problem z żołądkiem. But? Ale? When I have eaten, jak już zjadłem, it's like I'm digesting five hours my food in my stomach. Tak jak pięć godzin miał jedzenie w żołądku, to ja bym miał. No patients? Znacie tego pacjenta? Yeah. Oh, I add some food, okay, and this morning, and we're midday, and it feels like it's still in there. A ja no coś zjadłem, no już jest południe, mam wrażenie, że dalej siedzi w żołądku. Why? Because normally it has to pass into the duodenum, but now it doesn't. A bo normalnie powinno zejść dalej do dwunastnicy, ale tym razem nie schodzi. Okay, so they feel like they're still digesting their food hours and hours after it went into the stomach. Dlatego oni mają takie poczucie, że trawią i trawią godzinę po tym, jak już zjedli. Another example, large intestine. Kolejny przykład, jeśli to wiemy. Let's have another look at that. Okay, kolejny, kolejny przykład. There. Now, this is the left corner or left angle of the body, of the colon, up here. Ah, so we have the left, so the left one changes the left kind of the intestine. Also called the flexura of the anus. Ah, this is the one that's getting the intestine. Patient breathing in and out. You can see the stool in the intestine, transverse and the descending part. Ah, we see that here the intestine is just above the pancreas and the stomach. And look how it goes up and down. Like doing fitness all day, twenty thousand spots a day. I zobaczcie jak schodzi w dół i do góry. To jak fitness, jak dwadzieścia tysięcy razy robi trzysta dziennie. Okay, transferring and helping in the peristalsis of the stool in your large intestine. Co wam pomaga w waszej peristaltyce, stolca w innym dziewiątym? What would be the pathology or the problem the patient will express when they have not a good transit in the large intestine? A jak będzie, co będzie zgłaszał, jak będzie, jaki będzie problem pacjenta, który ma problemy z tym pasażem jelitowym? There might be gas. Yes. Why do you get gas? Why do you get gas? Exactly. If there is stool standing still, it's not moving. It starts to ferment much more. Ah, bo jeżeli mamy stole, to jest nieruchomo, to zaczyna być bardziej fermentowane. What's the consequence of gas? A jaki będzie skutek tych gazów? Bloating, yes. Zdęcie. Farting. Tak. Puszczanie bąków. Yes. You can't prevent that. It has to go out someday. Tak. Bo się temu nie da się zapobiec. Jakoś się musi uwolnić. But what's the problem of the bloating or the swelling of the intestine? Ale jaki jest problem tego wzdęcia, czy obrzęku, czy spuchnięcia jelit? What does a muscle do when you stretch it? Co robi mięśnie, kiedy się go rozciąga? Too far. Jak się go rozciągnie zbyt mocno? It will. Co się, co on zrobi? Contract. On będzie się zmęczał. So what does the patient feel? To co pacjent poczuje? Oh crap! Oh, 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 it's gone. Oh, just one. Oh, much better. It's gone. Oh, just one. This is what you see in the babies. Okay, you see a baby and you go crying almost, and then crying, crying, and they fall asleep. Okay. So why does that happen? It's like fucking cramping your calf muscle. Okay, you don't like it. Nie lubicie tego. Okay, that spastic contraction is very painful. Ten skurcz spastyczny jest bardzo bolesny. But as I said, you can compare it to your musculoskeletal system. Do not forget, yes, these are smooth muscles, the majority of these organs, but they behave like the rest of the musculoskeletal system. They only have their own nervous system. 
A więc tak jak już mówię, możemy przyrównywać trzewia do układu mięśniowo-szkieletowego. A ok, są to mięśnie gładkie, ale a, to są dalej mięśnie, oprócz tego, że mają swoje własne unerwienie. Now, healthy patient. Ok, jest dobry pacjent. Ok, you can see the uh, ileocecal valve. This patient is saying, ileocecal valve, you can see the bowel going up, transverse, and then it goes down. Now, observe the movement here, observe this movement, and then watch that. Where is the movement? Is it moving? This is the rectum and the sigmoid. To jest odbytnica, okay. End stage of the intestinal system. A ostatnie odcinki literowego? Symptom of this patient? Objawy tego pacjenta? Obstipation. Zapalcie. Is this patient having cramps? Czy pacjent ma skłycze? You can literally see them. Dosłownie je widzicie. The bowel or the intestine, as you know, is made of house tree. A jak wiecie, jelita jest z... Compared to compartments, ok? A jest... A, b, b, ma... Zbudowane z pewnych przedziałów z haustry. Ok, so when you look at an intestine, it's not just the tube, the large intestine. A więc jak patrzycie na jelito, to nie tylko widzicie grubę. Not like a blood vessel. To nie jest jak naczynie krwionośne. Actually, it has compartments. Tak naprawdę ma pewne przedziały. These compartments are made to increase the contact and to make sure that your food does not immediately go in out. Oh shit. Okay. This is when you look in the toilet. Sometimes you have to do that. Okay. You can literally see that there are small balls inside the sausage. The drier, the better you can see that. Okay. You didn't talk. You didn't think you were going to be talking about shit. Did you? Now, these house reactions, okay, when there's a contraction, this peristalsis you saw in the first video. They contract, push stool, track, push, track, push. But when we look at our poor patient. What do you see here? To, co tutaj? You can see the house reactions here too. You see them? To it's like bubbles. Here in the ascending part is still okay. Tutaj, to jest jest w Let's look at the transverse part. Ale na tą część it looks a little bit like a pearl necklace, doesn't it? A jak na Why? Dlaczego? Massive contraction. In the hostrium. A tutaj w okay? You can literally see compartments. What would the medical doctors call this? When there is a spasm in the colon. Spastic colon. Sometimes the questions are very easy. Okay. So you can literally see the cramp the patient is having in the intestine. But you can also see the consequence of no mobility and you can see the obstipation that is happening. Now what would be usually the solution for this? What would a medical doctor do? Laxative. Laxative, yes. Okay, in worst of cases, if even that doesn't work. Uh, somebody was showing the finger, yes. Worst of case, they have to go and get it. Not so nice for the patient and not so nice for the person who has to do it. But they sometimes also inject fluid up your anus to liquefy it again. Not the nicest feeling. You are already obstipated. And then they inject half a liter of water in your bowel. In your bowel. Yeah. Make sure you've got a toilet in the neighborhood when they do that. That's when that will drain. When you go to the toilet. Okay. Is that going to solve the problem? Not a lot. Okay, temporarily, yes. 
Okay, but it's just a symptom treatment. Ale to jest tylko leczenie objawowe. What do you need to do is an osteopath to improve this. A co musicie zrobić jako osteopath, żeby to poprawić? Improve the mobility of this intestine. Trzeba poprawić ruchomość jelita. Okay, that's just from a mechanical point of view. To tak z punktu widzenia mechanicznego. Because do not forget the neurology of a patient's intestine. Ale też nie zapominajcie o neurologii, o układzie nerwowym w jelicie pacjenta. You probably remember this very complex picture from your natural atlas. A pewnie pamiętasz ten bardzo złożony schemat z atlasu Natera? It's most, most of the time it's the page where people go like, oh, okay, forget that. No to jest ta scena, nie. <laughs> Too difficult. Za drobne. Hopefully we don't get this question. Mam nadzieję, że z tego pytań nie będzie. Okay. Now, when you look at the auto and parasympathetic system, and I would just ask my FICO students not to say too much, because you should know this. Okay. What does the autonomous nervous system consist of? Well, the nervous system, sorry. Our nervous system. Functional. Okay. Mm-hmm. Central and peripheral, yeah, but that's location. Okay, autonomous. Good. So you got the autonomous nervous system. And the somatic system. Very good. So very often. This is called conscious nervous system. A ten jest zależny od woli. And this is called the unconscious. You're not aware. Unconscious. Not unconscious. A ten jest niezależny, nieświadomy. Jesus Christ. System. Just like nerve. Exactly. Not conscious. Ten nie. Ten nie. Okay. Zależny od świadomości. What does our somatic system consist of? A z czego układ somatyczny się składa? Functional. Tak funkcjonalnie. From, it's made up by nerves. My nerves, yes, that's a good idea. Tak, z nerwów, to świetny pomysł. Nervous system made of arteries would be very complicated. Układ nerwowy zbudowany z tenis byłby trochę trudny. Other good suggestions? Come on. A jakieś inne dobre pomysły? Simple? Tak, zwyczajnie, prosto. Motoric and sensory. Część ruchowa i część ciciowa. Okay. What does the autonomous nervous system consist of? Z czego składa się układ autonomiczny? Układ skłóczony, przeskłóczony. Okay. Who is afferent? Who is afferent? A kto jest dośrodkowy, kto jest odśrodkowy? Ruchowy jest... Afferent. Afferent, very good. Jest odśrodkowy, efferentny. Sensory? Afterjob? You're such a good public. Smart people in the room, I can feel it. Okay. Now. Okay. Autonomous nervous system. Ukłon autonomiczny. Afferent or afferent? Kto jest osiedlkowy, kto jest dośrodkowy, kto jest odśrodkowy? Oh, crap. No problem. Told you that this is the part where a lot of people go. Yeah, maybe. Już mówił, że to jest część ludzi, którzy mówią, nie. Maybe. Może. I'll help you. A może wam. Shit. Kulcze. Where is the Afrin system? Tu gdzie jest ten dośrodkowy? Well, that's because a lot of people always forget. To dlatego, że ludzie zawsze zapominają. We have a third part. Mamy jeszcze trzecią część. Which is your visceral sensory system. Co, czyli naszą część. And that's afferent. Wis, czy czemu, że trzecia, czy czemu, to i to jest afferentne, dośrodkowe. Okay. Now, this is the afferent system, but why do so many people confuse that? To jest ta część dośrodkowa, ale czemu ludzie się domyli? Let me explain you with an example of the nerve. Wyjaśnię wam to na przykładzie. Which nerve do you know from the parasympathetic system? Jaki nerw znasz z układu przywspółczulnego? Mm 
Very good thing. It's a big motherfucker. Okay. I apologize, I would not say this on camera. So, vagal nerve, good. Okay, nerve błędny. Is it afrin or afrin? On jest dośrodkowy czy odśrodkowy? Both. Exactly. Dokładnie. Both. And the big problem is, what is it more, afrin or afrin? Okay, ale jest problem polega na tym, on jest głównie dośrodkowy czy odśrodkowy? Actually, the majority of the vagal nerve fibers are afrin. So, to afrin. 80 to 85 percent, depending on the literature that you can consult, okay, of the vagal nerve is afferent, not afferent. A 80 to 85 percent włókien błędnego w zależności od literatury, to są włókna afferentne. So, much more than afferent. Czyli znacznie więcej niż tych odśrodkowych afferent. Now, why do a lot of people confuse that, and why don't they see that parasympathetic is purely afferent? A dlaczego ludziom się to myli? I czemu mi się wydaje, że ten błąd jest czysto afrentny? Because afferent and afferent fibers run along in the same nerve fiber. A dlaczego? Bo włókna odśrodkowe i dośrodkowe biegną wzdłuż tego samego włókna nerwowego. But I can find examples down here, which you know too. Take the median nerve. A tutaj mamy te same przykłady w układzie stomatycznym, macie nerw pośrodkowy. What does the median nerve do? Co robi nerw pośrodkowy? Well, it's got the thorax. Okay, my chest is bubble. Yeah, flexion, for instance. Big ears. But it also is. Ale też jest. That's right. Two jawen. Okay, so it is afferent and afferent in one nerve. Czy mamy część dośrodkową i odśrodkową w jednym nerwie? It's the same in the autonomous nervous system. Tak samo jest autonomicznym. Only difference is your effector is. Divided in two quite opposite kind of systems, the orto and the parasympathetic system. A jedyne co tu układ efektorowy rozdzielony jest na dwie części, na układ współczulny i przyspółczulny. Now, where do you find the orto-sympathetic system in the body? Gdzie w ciele znajdujemy układ współczulny? Proximal. Tak mniej więcej. To nasz spadek. Good. C8 until L2. Okay, C8 do L2. Okay. You find the orto-sympathetic chain. Tam znajdujemy łańcuch. Sorry, nuclei. Okay. The chain goes from cervical until completely down to L2 and even into your gastric plexus. I bo zwoje idą od odcinka szyjnego do samego dołu, a też do zwoju przyszłego. Parasympathetic. Przyspółczony. We already got the vagus. To jest bardzo błędne. Where else? Gdzie jeszcze jest przyspółczony? In the sacral part. Sacral part, yes. But be careful. Recent literature is actually doubting that. For years and years and years, we said that there is also parasympathetic nuclei in the sacrum, so I agree with you. But recent literature is actually now telling it's not. Przez lata mówiliśmy, wierzyliśmy, że w odcinku krzyżowym, w jądrach odcinka krzyżowego są włókna przyspółczone, ale niedawne badania mówią, że tak nie jest. Where do you work? Gdzie pracujesz? Where on this system do you work? Gdzie wy pracujecie? Na których układach wy pracujecie? Because you don't change the skin, you don't change the muscle, you don't change the blood supply, or you don't change the blood flow in muscles. Forget it; it's impossible. Bo wy nie zmieniacie mięśni, nie zmieniacie skóry, nie zmieniacie naszych krwionośnych, ani przepływu krwi w mięśniach. Zapomnijcie, nie ma takiej opcji. I love it when people say, "Oh, I changed the perfusion." Lubię, jak ludzie stwierdzą, "O, zmieniłem perfuzję." I increased the drainage. Zwiększam drainage. I relaxed the tissue. Rozluźniłem tkanki. I took the stress out of the tissue. Wyciągnąłem napięcie z tych tkanek. Psychiatrist would love you. Psychiatra was full of you. And if you could change the, if you could change the diameter of blood vessels just with your hands. I wish you believe Stanley has made shady to the extent of being able to do it only. I am sure the cardiological association wants to talk to you because you're invaluable. Pewien, że towarzystwo kardiologiczne chętnie z wami pogada, bo jesteście bezcenni. Because they spend billions on medication, which all the time does not even work. Bo oni wydają miliardy na leki, które nawet nie działają. What do you do? To co robimy? Where on all this thing are you working? To gdzie są te wszystkie rzeczy, na których pracujecie? Can you change your synthetic? Czy możecie zmienić współczulny? No. Tak, nie? In the end? Nie. 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 Nie.
We can't influence this directly. It's impossible. We work here. In sensory systems. Because what you do with your hands, whether you're an osteopath, physiotherapist, whatever you do, doesn't matter. You put input into a neurological system, hoping, and then I agree, to change the effect. And depending on the input you give, i w zależności od tego, jaki impuls podacie, you get a different reaction in the effector. To będziecie mieli inną reakcję układu efektorowego. When you do a very hard technique, jeżeli to będą bardzo mocne techniki, you might get more orthostatic load. To może pojawić się większe większe pobudzenie współczulne. When you do a very soft technique, for instance, on the dura mater, like in the cranial techniques of osteopathy, i jeżeli będą to bardzo miękkie techniki, jak na przykład na oponie twardy przy osteopatii czaszkowej, you are influencing Ruffini receptors in the dura. To będzie wpływać na receptory Ruffiniego w oponie twardej. The Ruffini receptors in the dura have as an effect, if you stimulate them, that they will Lower your sympathetic tone. A pobudzenie receptor w ruchu niego w oponie twardej będzie miał skutek a wyciszania, zmniejszania aktywacji kodu współczulnego. That's why an osteopath is doing a cranial technique. A lot of people. Dlatego, kiedy osteopata wykonuje techniki czaszkowe, wiele osób mu się rozluźnia. They go into a Bob Marley state. Chodzą w stan Boba Marleya. Totally relaxed. Całkowicie rozluźnieni. However, very often. You're doing something down here, and you see a reaction down here or down there. Ale bardzo często widzicie coś tutaj, ma więc efekt a w jednym albo drugim układzie autonomicznym. And the other way around. Albo w drugą stronę. Okay, because very often problems of the organs are being reflected into our somatic system. So, zbudowane są przeniesione na nasz układ somatyczny. Patients don't come to you very often saying, "Oh, you know, dear physiotherapist, I have some intestinal problems." Patient nie często przychodzi do was, mówiąc, "Pani fizjoterapeuto, mam jakieś problemy jelitowe." No, they will come to you because they will be complaining of somatic problems on this side. A przychodzą do was, bo mają dolegliwości części somatycznej. But underlying, it's actually a visceral problem. Ale tak naprawdę przyczyną tego tej dolegliwości jest to lemuszarne. A small picture where a lot of your problems, this whole problems can refer. A to jest taki schemat, gdzie wiele waszych problemów trzewnych może rzutować. If you look at this picture, you will probably see that a lot of the problems are centralized around the thoracic spine and tl junction, exactly where you find the whole sympathetic system. I jak przyjrzycie się, to zobaczycie, że wiele tych rzutowań trzewnych jest koncentruje się wokół odcinka piersiowego i przejścia piersiowo-lędźwiowego, czyli tam, gdzie mamy nasz układ współczulny. Podam przykład. My father-in-law, many years ago now, ok, at a certain point said, oh Tim, can you please have a look at my back? Ok, and also I got a strange problem. The doctor told me I got an adductor inflammation. A więc wiele lat temu jego też powiedział, że Tim mógłby rzucić okiem na moje plecy, plus lekarz powiedział mi, że mam coś innego, mam zapalenie, przywodzić. Ok, so how did you end up with an AD doctor information? Yeah, I got pain here, you know? Ok, ale jak, jak, skąd wziął mi zapalenie, przywodzić? No, boli mnie tutaj, no i tam nawet, w plecach. Ok, well he was a known back patient. He had some disc artrosis and so on. Ok, to on już miał wcześniej problemy z plecami, z wyrnie piąszka, z wyrnie kręgosłupa. Yeah, the doctor said it's because of my cycling. I lekarz mówi, że to w związku z moim kolejstwem. Cycling? Adductors? Ja to najważniejszy przewodniciele. How have you been driving your bike like that? Jak to jest możliwe? How the heck is that possible? Jak to jest możliwe? Yeah, the doctor told me to go to the physio, and I did. I went like nine times to the physio, and he was doing stretching and you know exercises and. Lekarz kazał idzie wizję. To ja tam tego tam dziewięć razy, ćwiczenia i osiągnięte i w sumie nie pomogło. It was nice. Bo fajnie. Ale nie pomogło. Okay. No dobrze. That's strange. To dziwne. Where's your back pain? A gdzie boli w plecach? Very low. There. Tu bardzo nisko. O tu. I almost did my butt crack. Ja wiem, robię obie. No. When your father-in-law says that, it doesn't sound very good. Jak też wam to mówi, to nie brzmi zbyt dobrze. So I investigated him. Więc go zbadał. And I could see the same stiff spine he used to have because of the disc artrosis. 
A i znalazłem ten sam sztywny kręgosłup w związku ze zwiodnieniem krążka. The testing the hip, the abductors, nothing to find. Podanie biodra przywodziciele, nic, czeka, nic ciekawego, żeby tam znaleźć. No dobra, to co tam się dzieje? Skąd się bierze ten ból? Okay. And then it popped into my mind. A potem przyszło mu do głowy. Listening to the complaints, they were very vague. Jak słuchał do lepiwości, wszystkie były takie rozlane. He had a constant pain. Niesłoite, ciągły ból. Sometimes more, sometimes less. Czasami bardziej bolało, czasami mniej bolało. And then it struck me. I przyszło mu do głowy. He was around 52 years of age. Miał około 52 lat. Said, when did you have your last prostate exam? I pyta, kiedy ostatni raz miał badaną prostatę? And that's when he looked at me like. Ten spojrzał na niego. I'm the son-in-law. Jest jego zięcie. No way. <laughs> no way. Nie ma takiej opcji. Said, Don't worry. Nie no way I'm going to do that with ja my father-in-law. To nie to, że ja będę deszcza robił. Okay. But he said, why do you want to know? Okay, ale pyta, czemu chcesz to wiedzieć? So the problem is, you've got pain in inside of your legs and there's nothing to find in your musculoskeletal system. You're perfectly okay. Okay, więc um, odczuwa ból po wewnętrznej stronie uh, ud, ale w mniejszego szkieletowa tam nic nie ma, jest wszystko zgodnie z zdrowem. I'm quite sure that is referred pain. I jestem dość pewien, że jest to rzutowane. I said, well, I'll, I'll ask my doctor. Okay, so I'll ask the So what does the doctor do? To co the They measure the... To co mierzą? PSA. PSA. Okay, PSA stands for Prostate Specific Antigen. The antigen is the prostate PSA. They find that in the blood. Uh, they, uh, they the Very easy value. The, prostate, the, the more prostate, prostate, the more PSA. PSA. Very simple. Okay, so in him, they just measured it half a year ago, it was quite okay. I said, okay, I want you to measure it again and have a corrected prostate examination. He looked at me and went like, you better be right. Okay. So one week later I see him. Yeah, my PSA it went up, but it's uh, it's quite normal. Okay. It's not very high. Okay. Did you do the examination? Okay. Did you do it? Yes. Yeah. Couldn't find anything. No. Still. I looked at the PSA. Every year it went up a little bit in him, but this year it went up more. Now, in every male, the PSA will raise a little bit. That's normal because our prostate is always getting bigger and bigger and bigger as we grow older. Okay, at the age of 90, every man has B9 prostate cancer. Every man. Yeah, boys, it's true. He was not 90. Okay, only not 90. So I said that's strange. Okay, so it's very okay to give them. So they did a biopsy. And they did only a biopsy. He was not very happy because before that they did an ultrasound via his ass. Ah, but he was extremely excited because before that they did an ultrasound via his ass. Okay. He was not getting very happy with me after a while. He was not very happy with me after a while. Was I lucky that in the biopsy they found cancer cells? Okay, he had a malignant prostate cancer. He was one of the first patients to be operated via a robot. They resected the prostate. And when they then did the biological examination afterwards, they could find cancer. Okay, he had no uh, metastases. A nie było przerzutów? Very lucky. Całe szczęście. He survived. Przeżył. He's now 12 years beyond that. A to już jest 12 lat minęło. He still likes me, but in another way. Dalej go lubi, ale w inny sposób. Okay. Did the pain at the inside of the legs disappear? Czy ból po wewnętrznej stronie na widzieniu? Yes. Tak. Did the pain in the low back disappear? Czy ból w plecach zniknął? Yes. Tak. Was the cause of the pain a musculoskeletal pain? Czy przyczyną bólu była przyczyna więźniowa szkieletowa? Nie. It was a prostate problem. Okay, so remember when you see patients and there is a vague, dull, unexplainable pain that is not really being influenced by anything, it might be something else than a musculoskeletal problem. A więc mam cię rozciągnął pacjentek ma, a pacjenci mają tempy rozlane, niewyjaśnialny ból, 
A to może nie być pochodzenie mięśniowości lędowego. Especially when you get your patients with back problems in the thoracic spine, think of that. Zwłaszcza jak macie pacjentów z problemami w odcinku piersiowym. The thoracic spine is very unlikely to get mechanical problems. The ribs protect it very well. A odcinek piersiowy to mało prawdopodobne miejsce na problemy mechaniczne. Żebra dobrze go bronią. Discs are very thin. Klaszki są bardzo cienkie. Disc herniations do occur, but they are very rare in giving any symptoms. A przepuklina klaszka w odcinku piersiowym się zdarza, ale bardzo rzadko daje objawy. So always remember that thoracic pains can be underlying discal problems. I zawsze pamiętajcie, że bóle w odcinku piersiowym mogą być pochodzenia trzewnego. Three weeks before I came here. Trzy tygodnie zanim przyjechał. Guy comes to my clinic. Przed facet do gabinetu. Sorry, lady. Nie, pani. Pain there. Bóle, bóle on tu. In between the shoulder blades. Między kątkami wysoko. Never had that. Wcześniej tak nie było. Okay, so when did it occur the first time? Okay, kiedy pierwszy raz się pojawiło? I was working in my garden. Pracowałam w ogrodzie. But every time I did something, it came back. Ale za każdym razem jak coś zrobiłam, to wracało. Whatever I do, clean my hands, walk up the stairs, it's back. Ale co kolwiek zrobię, posprzątam w domu, wejdę po schodach. But if I let myself down and I wait a while, it goes away. A jak się położę i poleżę chwilę, to przychodzi. Do you feel problems at night? A czy ma pani problemy w nocy? No, I sleep perfectly. Nie, śpię idealnie. You would say, ah. Just do a lift off, crack. Yeah, or lay down, crack. Now you go a little bit soft tissue. Yeah, stretch, stretch. Hey. See you next time. What's going to happen if they come back next time? So, how are you? Sorry, you don't look like a lady. How are you? Oh, I was better for like half a day. Came back. Okay, but I'll be just pulled down. I'll put them back to you. Okay. Let's try it again. No, don't stay here. Frank, Frank. Hey, ah. How are you? Next time, Jim. Yeah, it's the same. No, it's the same. It's not going to work. You can try it 15 times. It's going to come back. Nie pomoże. Możesz się 15 razy spróbować, a i tak wróć. So before I started therapy, I said, okay, any other symptoms? Więc zanim zanim zaczął terapię, to pytałem, jakieś inne objawy? No, nothing related, I think. Nic. Any other problems then that you think are not related? I have any problems with your body that you think are not related? Yeah, I feel like there's pressure here on my breasts. Yeah, I have some pressure here on my breasts. But I'm going to see my gynecologist to see what it is. But I'm going to see my gynecologist to see what it is. But I'm going to see my gynecologist to see what it is. But I don't think it's your breasts. You think it's your breasts? But what did I do? I lowered my table. I said to the patient, "Okay, step on, step on, step on, step on." After 20 times, oh, my back pain, I can feel it on my chest. Okay, stop. Sit, please. Don't lay down. Because she would die. What was she doing? Heart attack. Okay, when I took the pulse, she had already uh, ventricular extrasystolysis. Ventricular extrasystolysis. So, Heartbeat which is skipped. Okay, so the normal, regular heartbeat. She had this. Normal one. Normal one, and then a run of bad ones. I took the blood pressure. Low. And she was out of breath, and she started getting blue lips. She became very pale and sweaty. What's the worst thing you can do? Put the patient on the back and lift the legs like you would do with somebody who's hypoly uh, has a orthostatic hypertension. Orthostatic hypertension. Okay. Now, because if you do that, you have a heart which is already suffering, and you take 60 to 70 percent of the blood which is in the body, raw to the heart. Die, motherfucker! How are you feeling? Hello. Fuck. Okay. So careful. What did I do? After I took the pulse, after I took the, uh, uh, the blood pressure, keep the patient sitting, 
kazał ich siedzieć. Okay, don't make it too cold in your room. A też, żeby nie było zbyt zimno w waszym gabinecie. Although they feel sweaty. Pomimo tego, że się pocą. If you cool down, what's going to happen? Jak ich schłodzicie, to co się stanie? Yeah. Vasoconstriction, again. Heart goes like, what the fuck? Yeah. All the blood goes to the heart. Don't do that. Okay, this is why a lot of people, when they have uh, heart problems, they go out to smoke a cigarette. And it's ice cold. They die. Okay. It's even got a name, it's called the White Sheet Syndrome. A to nawet się na, ma swoją nazwę, to jest zespół yeah. białego przysiadu. They go upstairs, they go up the stairs in the evening. Ok, idą na górę wieczorem do sypialni. The wife put the windows open to have a nice fresh bedroom to sleep. Oczywiście żona otworzyła wcześniej okno, żeby wywieszyć, żeby mieć dobry chłodny powietrze yeah. do spania. And 70 year old Piotr, 70 years old Piotr, not knowing he's got a cardiovascular problem. A 70 letni pan Piotr, nie wiedząc, że ma problem z sercem, na czubie. Takes off his clothes. Ściąga ciuchy. Brushes his teeth, comes into a room which is almost minus 10. Zemrę, do pokoju, gdzie jest minimum. And then he goes to lay down on the ice cold bed with his back. Back. Bye bye, Piotr. Yeah. Heart attack. Okay. They call it the white sheet syndrome. So I got the. Uh, luckily, in my clinic, I have a few doctors working for me. I got them in EKG. We could see it was a heart attack. We got an ambulance. Which is not so good for the clinic, but we immediately got the patient to hospital. Cały szczęście w jego a w jego pojadni pracuje kilku lekarzy, więc po pierwsze jednego, że kiedy jakaś jest, zobaczyli, że faktycznie pani ma zawał serca, wezwali kajetkę, co nie wygląda najlepiej dla pojadni, ale zawieźli ją do szpitala. So be very careful when you are working with patients. It's especially when they got abdominal, chest, and neck problems. Keep it to mind, it could be a visceral problem. A więc e, pamiętajcie, jak pracujecie e, z pacjentem, jeżeli są jakieś problemy piersiowe, czy tutaj w ogóle wypycha, to może być trzeba. Sometimes it's easy. Czasami jest łatwo. Okay. Who had the flu this winter? Kto w tym sezonie miał grypę? Albo przecież Rice on the lungs. <laughs> Infekcja Who had it? Kto miał? I'm the only one? Ah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. What's the first thing you feel before you even feel any lung symptoms, like coughing or mucus in your lungs? Jaki jest pierwszy obiad, który odczuwacie, zanim poczujecie coś w płucach, jak pasłanie, jak uh, śluz w płucach? During the day you feel like, oh my god. W ciągu dnia czujecie, oh my god. Yeah, it's like your neck is, yeah, it's completely getting stiff. Tak, szyja jest kompletnie sztywna. What's going on? Co tam się dzieje? Well, it's normal. A to jest normalne. The virus or the bacteria is already playing around in your lungs or in your respiratory system. A wirus czy bakteria już się dobrze bawią w waszym układzie oddechowym. And you're starting to feel your neck. A wy zaczynacie czuć to przy jej. You're feeling the visceral effect in your somatic system. Czujecie wpływ trzewny w waszym układzie somatycznym. Okay, you feel in your muscles contract. I czujecie jak wasze mięśnie się wchodzą w skóry. Is there a neck problem? Czy to jest problem z szyją? No. No nie. It's a visceral problem. Jest to problem trzewny. Okay, so if you get a patient like that and you start to palpate their lymph nodes and you feel they're swollen. Więc jak masz takiego pacjenta, zaczynacie badać mu węzły płonny i czujecie, że są powiększone. And which very expensive device do you have in your clinic to measure flu or temperature? Jaki bardzo kosztowny, jaki kosztowny przyrząd macie w gabinecie, żeby zmierzyć infekcję, przeziębienie, grypę? Thermometer. Thermometer. I know it's very expensive. Jest bardzo kosztowne. You need to think about buying one. Musisz się zastanowić, jak kupić jedną. But if you have it in your clinic and you measure your patient, they got a little bit of temperature. Ale jak już taki macie w gabinecie, jak mierzycie pacjenta do temperatury. Which is the first line of defense of our body. A i to zwiększona ciepłota ciała to jest nasza pierwsza linia obrony. Don't treat the patient, you're cheating them. To nie zajmujcie się tym pacjentem, bo wtedy oszukujecie. It's not going to get any better. Poza tym nie będzie lepiej. Just tell them, well, I got good news. A więc powiedzcie im, mam dobre wieści. You do not have neck problem. Nie ma pan pani problemu z szyją. And it's gonna be away in 10 days. I zniknie po 10 dniach. Bad news is, you're gonna get sick. Będzie pan pani chory. Don't worry. Proszę się nie przejmować. Okay? Pay out. Zapłacić do widzenia. Okay? They have to pay for your medical expertise. If they go to the doctor, they also pay. A muszą zapłacić za waszą wiedzę i ekspertyzę medyczną. Kiedy do lekarza też płacą. Okay, now why do we sometimes see this? Well, this is the neurology behind it. Our intestines are in innervated by afferent signals, as you can see, and afferent signals to give the motoric. Uh, 
But these problems can, of course, cross over to the other side where you then see muscular contractions. Think of your flu. Ale ten problem może przejść na tylko w stronę spowodować skłoć mięśniowe, na przykład w przypadku przeziębienia. You can feel those pains represented into your skin. Może i położyć ten ból, ale twoja prezentacja dolegliwości w skórze. Now, good question is, why is this pain so freaking vague? A to by pytanie brzmi, dlaczego ten ból jest taki, jest specyficzny, czy to jest taki rozlany? Because when I ask you, if you have a tennis elbow, where's your pain? A jak was zapyta, jak pan się łudzi ten niszisty, gdzie czuje się ból? Where's pain? To gdzie boli? Yeah, where? Tak, ale gdzie? Pokaż palce. Yeah, you see everybody going with one tak. finger. Każdy yeah. bierze palę, ty chyba bierze stół. Okay. When you have an appendicitis, ale where is the pain? W momencie zapalenia wyjazdka, to gdzie boli? Who had an appendicitis? Kto miał zapalenie wyjazdka? Already. Kto już miał? Nobody? Nikt? Can't be. Nie może być. Okay. Yeah, well. Dzień dobry, to co zdrowi? Weird people. Dziwni ludzie. <laughs> Might be some nuclear effect in here. No, it's probably because of the healthy air of Warsaw. It's cleansing your body. De detox. Detox. <laughs> okay. So, if you have an appendicitis, where does the pain start? Okay, tak macie zapalenie wyjazdka, gdzie się ból zaczyna? Oh God, tell me, eh? Boli mi brzuszek. Nobody goes like there. Nikt nie mówi, że tu. No, everybody goes like, oh, it's somewhere there. Każdy mówi, że być gdzieś, nie czuje się zbyt dobrze. And after a while it goes from the umbilicus. Slowly down into the right inguinal area. And it's only when it's about to burst. I w momencie, kiedy już prawie pęka. 72 hours after the infection started. 72 godziny po tym, infekcja się zaczęła. That's when you start to be able to say, oh, I think it's over there. Oh, yeah, oh, oh no pressure on it. Did you never wonder why the examination is sometimes so difficult and the diagnosis is very often very late? It's very simply because the diagnosis is difficult. The patient doesn't say, there it is, and it hurts, take it out. Now, why are patients so vague about visceral problems? Why don't they say anything? This, they're very clear. You just said it. One finger. There it is. Pain. There. There. What kind of nerve fibers are these? Unmyelinated or thickly myelinated? Thick myelinated fibers. What does that mean if they're nicely myelinated? They are very well conducting. Yeah, and they will transfer any signal that comes in immediately contact. Or at least to your medulla. Okay, for a reflex. Immediately. But this one, what kind of fibers are this? Unmyelinated nerve fibers, very good type C fibers. Very, very thin or not myelinated fibers. What is the consequence of that? You don't know about your viscera. Because if I would ask you, okay, how is your colon doing today? No idea. How is your prostate? Top? Yeah. How is your right lung doing today? In the air? How's your heart? Knocking on heaven's door? No idea. Okay? When do you know you have your bowels or your intestines or your unconscious system is telling you something? It will only make you aware, conscious, when it's necessary. Because imagine you eat that piece of piece of pizza and you would go. Yeah, I can feel it, and yeah, it's in the stomach. That was a good one. Ten seconds. Yeah. Okay, it's still there. One hour later. Oh, yeah. The fuck. Feel it. Yeah. Thirty-six hours later. Oh, it's arriving. You don't. You don't feel that. Now that's good. Because imagine you would be thinking about all that shit all the day. Yeah. 
Girls, can you imagine? Ovulation. Oh yeah. Oh. 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 Day 14. Yeah. No, you don't. Okay? You're unaware. This is why they call it the unconscious autonomic nervous system. But for us as therapists, as osteopaths, it's fucking annoying. So where is your patient, dear patient? Where is your pain, dear patient? Somewhere over there. No, but where precisely? Somewhere over there. Where is your fucking pain? Maybe more on that side, but sometimes on that side. When does it happen? Can't really say. And that's freaking annoying. But the referred pain is exactly the same. So when you get your patients with vague interscapular pains, when do you feel pain? Yeah, sometimes at work, but also when I go jogging, and also in the evening when I go to bed, yeah. and yeah, I don't know, you know, also in the weekend, and when I sit, give me something, I need a diagnosis, I can't make a fucking diagnosis this way, when it's the spine it's easy, yeah, somatic, People are aware, conscious. Okay, so Where do you have pain? There. When does it hurt? In the morning, more. Okay. How does it evolve? Oh, it gets better during the day, a little bit more in the evening. When I sit, more pain. When I stand up, less pain. Walking, much better. Easy, you got this problem. Okay, but the customer can't tell them the You can make an MRI to just confirm that, but you know that's probably going to be this problem. Also here. It's my AV ductus. It's constantly there. If I stretch, I don't really feel it. And when I sit, I have back pain. When I stand, I have back pain. When I walk, I have back pain. When I cycle, I have back pain. When I lay down, I have back pain. If you hear that kind of anamnesis where you go like, I'm going to freaking shoot myself. When it's vague, when there is nothing concrete, think of viscera. Why does that have that typical kind of vagueness? It's because of the nervous system which is actually giving you that information. Okay. Does everybody understand? Now, that's important to remember, okay, because when you look at the dermatome and mitome charts, you have learned in your physiotherapy the connection between certain metamers in our spine and certain muscles and skin areas of the body. Right? Yes, everybody yeah. remembers that? Yeah, somewhere vaguely, yes. You can always open this book, it's called Natural Atlas. Yeah, when you open it, it will crack because it's fresh and new. <laughs> and somewhere around page 290, you'll find the dermatome charts. You might want to check that one more time. Now, a nice professor, he's not an osteopath, he's not a physiotherapist, he's actually a neurophysiologist. He went into literature and he went to check how, which organs are connected to which level. There's the Polish version. You got that one normally. Now, then he checked how well is a certain level described in literature to be connected to a certain metamere in our spine. Just to give you an example. Take a patient, okay, with reflux. 
Okay, what can you see? To co widzimy? A large thoracic area. Duży obszar piersiowy. The thicker the line is, im większa ta linia, that is thinner, that is thicker. Tam to jest cieńsze, to jest większa linia. Okay, the more evidence this professor could find. Tym więcej dowodów, a tym więcej badań znalazł ten profesor. But the nice thing is, he actually explains what osteopaths do. A to co jest tutaj do, fajne, to to, że on wyjaśnia, co właściwie robią osteopaty. We functionally assess the spine, not just to assess the spine as a mobility kind of entity. A funkcjonalnie oceniamy kręgosłup nie tylko a w, w zakresie ruchomości. But to learn from the neurology, which is reflected in the spine. A też żeby dowiedzieć się z planu nerwowego, który rzutuje na ten kręgosłup. And if you find your patient with that hypotonic zone in their back, which is always coming back, and then nothing really helps. I masz tego, masz pacjenta z hypotonicznym obszarem w plecach, a to zawsze wraca na właśnie nic na nie pomaga. You might want to think next time to look on this chart, not just the dermatome chart. A więc moglibyście chcieć zejść też na ten schemat na samym razem, nie tylko na schemat z dermatomami. Because suddenly all of those block levels will give you an indication. Okay, of what might be going on on a visceral level. Ah, then for the block, it's the line. Now, we're going to talk about the block, the explanation. What can happen? What can happen? What can happen? What can happen? So, when I was a student, I printed that thing and I put it in my closet where my towels were. Ah, and so we put it in the shop where we had our things. So, when I was investigating a patient, and I went, for instance, okay. I found a seriously blocked level in between T2 and T8. I powiedzmy, że znalazł mocno ponapinane, zblokowane segmenty od T2 do T8. Okay, T2 to T8. T2 to T8. Okay, 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 T2 to T8
Running the diaphragm, very good. Why does that correlate to the stomach? Because as you know, your stomach okay, pushes and is connected to your diaphragm. Shares the innervation at the top part. Okay, and that are your problems? No! A little, a little bit, but there is some discussion around the area nuda where it's really innovated directly. So I can't say directly yes anymore. Some literature says yes, some literature says no. Yeah, part of the peritoneum, what I thought you said about the liver. Okay. Now, what is the other symptom the patient will say? Do you have other symptoms? Czy ma pan, pani inne objawy? Yes. Oh, tak. Ale gada chęć. Ból głowy. Always oh, here. Migraine. My doctor said it's migraine. Lekarz mówi, że to migrena. And I'm taking pills for that. I biorę to tabletki. Does it help? No, no, really. Nie, nie, nie. But I take them. Ale biorę. A chęć. But if I push? Okay, boli mnie głowa, ale jak cisnę. It's a bit better. Jestem lepiej. O, nie, dobrze. You think? Oh, fucking lord. No, mój Boże. Pain here. Boli mnie to. Pain there. Pain there. Tam też. Oh. No. Shoot the patient. Okay, zastrzelcie pacjenta. Get out. It's kind of patient where you think, stop giving me symptoms. I'm fed up. To jest ten pacjent, szybciej to stwierdzić, okay, przestań podawać kolejne objawy. Why does the patient get there? To poszło tak? Vagal nerve. Nerve błędny. Okay, and you get high cervical nodes of the vagus at the level of C2. As you know, innovation of the eye. Wysokie szyjne jądra błędnego, czyli Okay. So remember, when you are working with patients, for instance like this one, stomach patient, big, elaborate symptoms, which in the first phase do not seem to be connected, but if you know your neurology, you understand what the cause is. And you can treat a lot of things. You can go and treat the eye, yeah, the massage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Some neck massage. Yeah, massage. The doctor said it's trapezius syndrome. Okay. Why is it stupid to stretch the trapezius? Why is it stupid to stretch the trapezius? Why is it stupid to stretch the trapezius? Well. Can it actually have a spinal reflex? Uh, sorry? Can it have a spinal reflex? It's a bit difficult, isn't it? Think of the innovation. What is it innovated by? Accessory nerve. Fuck, that's cranium. Can you have a spinal reflex? So trapezius syndrome? Yeah. That's especially designed for the doctors. To jest specjalnie zaprojektowane dla lekarzy. Anything here? Wszystko tutaj? Just say it's trapezius syndrome. Muszę ci powiedzieć, że zespół czwego z tego. Fizjoterapeuta will know what to do. Fizjoterapeuta będzie wiedział, co ma zrobić. So very often you get these patients with a lot of different kind of symptoms, but you need to see the bigger picture. Więc często macie pacjenta, który ma wiele różnych objawów, ale musicie zobaczyć szerszy obraz. And as an osteopath, we're not going to treat the symptoms. Ale jako osoba, ani osoba, czy nie będziecie leczyć objawów? You want to treat the cause. Chcecie zająć się tylko przyczyną. Because you don't treat the cause, symptoms always come back. Bo jeżeli nie usuniecie przyczyny, to objawy zawsze wyjdą. You can manipulate the neck, hoping that this might get rid of the eye problem or the headache. It won't. Możecie zmanipulować szyję, licząc, że po usunięciu ból głowy, ból oka, ale zawsze to wróci. Okay. So before we can go and actually treat the patient, we need to assess the patient. Now I chose something which is easy. As I said, it's going to be virtually impossible to see all of the visceral techniques, of course. But I chose a technique which is very easy and accessible. You don't need to know a lot of palpation or any visceral anatomy to be able to do it. Let's look at the stomach. 
Zobaczmy jak. Co tam się dzieje z żołądkiem? Stomach is quite easy. Żołądek jest dość prosty. Big organ. Duży narząd. Hollow. Wydrążony. Makes a nice sound so you can easily find it. Można łatwo go odnaleźć też po odgłosach. Now, I showed you on the videos that the stomach really moves up and down a lot. A na kilka pokazał wam, że żołądek faktycznie dość mocno przemieszcza się góra dół. Okay, so when you breathe in and out. To kiedy się wdech i wydech. Each time the diaphragm is pushing the stomach up, pulling it up when you breathe out. A to przepona pociąga żołądek przy każdym wdechu. And when you breathe in. A przy każdym wdechu. Stomach goes down. Żołądek ci w dół. It tilts. Się przechyla. And rotates a little bit to the middle. I rotuje się trochę do środka. On out. I wydech. It's back up. I wydech z powrotem do góry. You could see that in the video. I to na filmie było widać. Okay. What I want you to do in a second, I'll demonstrate first how to do it, is to palpate that movement. Come around, you literally put your hand underneath the thorax and you feel that stomach hitting your hand each time the patient breathes in. Don't worry, it's an easy organ to palpate. How do you do that? The best thing to do is get your patient nice and relaxed on the table. Supine position. Put a good pillow underneath their neck. There are pillows in the back if you need one. For those who have a movable headrest, put the headrest nice in flexion. And make the student, sorry, the patient, Pull up their legs. I poproszę, żeby wasz partner, kolega, zdjął nogi. To relax the abdomen. Żeby rozluźnić powłoki brzuszne. Okay, that makes your access to the abdomen much easier. Daje wam to łatwiejszy dostęp do brzucha. Your palpating hand is going to make contact just underneath the costal arch on the left side, of course. A wasza ręka palpująca będzie tuż poniżej brzuszne po lewej stronie oczywiście. And your palping hand is going to make contact from the dorsal side on the costal margin of the ribs. In the back, in the left costal part of the thorax. A ręka pomocnicza będzie dotykała, żeby od grzbietowej strony. Okay, that can help a little bit by pushing up to accentuate the stomach. Pomóc trochę, żeby podciągnąć na skalkę piersią, żeby uwydatnić żołądek. Then ask your patient to gently breathe in. Proszę pani, to delikatne wdech. Out. Wydech. And try to assess and feel that movement. If you hold with your applicator hand or your palpating hand, you will literally feel that stomach bouncing against your hand. If you would resist it and the patient is still breathing in, careful, or you might see the lunge. Okay, because if you keep the stomach and the diaphragm comes down, it's yeah. It doesn't go that way, it goes that way. Okay. So don't be shy if somebody goes like, oh, sorry. Yeah. After we did the palpation, I'll show you a practical mobilization. What you could do on the stomach. So next time you see that patient with. Do you have any stomach problems? No. I take pantomat. I don't have stomach problems anymore. Yeah. So you have a technique that you can already do. To już będziecie mieli technikę, którą możecie wykonać. Why do patients take pantomat? Bo czemu pacjent przyjmuje pantomat? Hyperchloridy. A nadkwasota? Okay. What is one of the main reasons of hyperchloridy? A jaka jest główna, jedna z głównych przyczyn nadkwasoty? Not enough mobility of the stomach. Nie wystarczająca ilość żołądka. Not too much, too little. Bo to nie jest tak naprawdę nadkwasota, nie jest za dużo, czasu jest za mało. Kick it back into action. Więc tego musi go zmobilizować, żeby zdążył pracować z powrotem. Then you can, together with the doctor, decide to lower down the medication, and they can really get rid of the medication. Okay, let's first look at the technique. I can be a patient. You will be a patient, though. Okay, it's a hobby. We have many volunteers. Oh, it's okay. 
You don't have a citizen versus? Nie, nie masz citizen versus na, na rządy z drugiej strony? No. Ok, to już możesz się zagrać z tą poduszkę. Okay, so patient is going to be in supine position. Any visceral technique, usually you put your table approximately at thigh height. Why? A lot of people work very high. Now, this guy is still quite okay. Okay. Because he doesn't have a lot of abdomen. He has not been training his muscle. <laughs> Some boys <laughs> have like a very trained abdomen. As a result, if you want to reach the stomach, you have to dig in, literally dig in. If you look at his width of his body, the stomach is here in between my two hands. Behind that you got the spleen. Okay, so you need quite some deep pressure to get there. The more abdomen, the more difficult it becomes. So if you don't have the table up here, you understand you're going to have to use your shoulders, your arms, that's not going to be easy. So you get the table low, you can use your body weight, that's going to be very easy. Okay, just to make it uh, for you didactically a little bit better. Let's turn around the table. You look okay. like a strong guy. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Ah, strong guy. Okay. Now, because I need a stomach on my side. Okay, to make it easier to palpate. Now, have the patient's hands just relaxed uh, next to the body. Or if they're too close to you, just have them on the chest. Okay. Head, nice and flexed. When you flex his neck, already these abdominal muscles start to relax. Legs flexed. Now be careful. If you put the feet together, he's now actively putting his legs together. Because if he would relax, his legs would fall apart. Nobody likes to be in a gynecological position when you have to do something on the stomach. So, get the feet a little bit apart, automatically the legs have a tendency to fall in, the patient is much more relaxed. Stand lateral of the patient. My right hand is going to be the supporting helping hand from the back. Left hand is going to be the palpating hand underneath the costal arch. How do you find the stomach? Easy organ. Find the xiphoid. Okay. Then you know you got the incision of the seventh rib. Move down, eight, and at nine you find the cardia, which is the entrance of the stomach. If you would go behind the. Okay. Now stay at the costal margin. Get your hand underneath. 
and have your index just around that costal margin. Don't push on the ribs. You can't feel stomach through the ribs. It's impossible. Underneath. Scoop your helping hand underneath the thorax. And you can give a little bit of upward pressure when you want to feel it. Now, supinate your hand gently in, push away the bowels. And as you can see, she can see that very neatly. I am not like this. I can feel it. No. If you want to feel that stomach, you need to get to the stomach. I am more than halfway his abdomen. Now, he's got strong abdominal muscles, he's got a nice rectus. Okay, now just stay there and if you now ask the patient, breathe in deeply. Boom, there it is. Yes. Out. And it goes up again. Up, in. Boom, against my hand. If I push it, he can feel that. Move your fingers, you can easily feel it. In. Boom, against my fingers. Out. Now, if you do not want to annoy your patient, please, when he breathes in deeply, when you feel it, go away a little bit, otherwise he pushes with his diaphragm, his own stomach, against my hand. In. Bang. There it is. If I hold it, he can feel that's compromising his breathing in. If I would really pressurize that thing and ask him, breathe in, yeah, he's doing this to me and I don't think it's because he thinks I'm sexy, but he feels the stomach. Because he's literally breathing in with his diaphragm and I'm holding that stomach, so it's literally being compressed. He doesn't like that. Okay, so what I want you to do now, go in deep, don't stay superficial, gently push the in small intestine, out of your way, and go in deeply. Now you understand why you want to be high and the table needs to be low. And then try to palpate. Each time he breathes in, give a little bit of compression from the back with your hand, scoop up a little bit, makes it easy to feel it. I'll come around to help and palpate that. Good idea, try to find the stomach on the left side. Last time I did this course, there was a guy going like... I don't feel it. Breathe in. No, I don't feel it. Try the other side. One in a million, you could be right. People would have seen It's good that he did not feel it. Yeah, suppose you would have said, yeah, yeah. My mother had a, um, had a very serious uh, cardiovascular problem. Uh, she does not have a uh, normal uh, or own subclavian artery anymore. So um, they cut the artery totally. So there is no orthosympathetics anymore. So as a result, it does also not contract anymore the artery. She's got a plastic subclavian artery on left and right. So taking a pulse or taking blood pressure on her arm is quite idiotic because it's not possible anymore. <laughs> the professor who treats her knows that. A professor, who on lecture, wie o tym. He's such an asshole. Because every time there's an assistant or a co-assistant, you can already get started. Please take the blood pressure. Okay, <laughs> you see the poor boy going. <laughs> how is the uh, heart rate? Uh, 
Quite normal. No shame, man. Eh? No fucking clue at all. Nie masz zielonego pojęcia. And then they take the blood pressure. A potem ci się mierzą ciśnienie krwi. <laughs> Can't feel anything. No, nic nie ma. We're not going to be assholes. So, nie będziemy dupkami, więc lewa strona. Ta strona. Okay. Questions? Pytania? No questions. Nie. Hello. To meet Steven. Doing Steven. Facebook Live. Steven's billion. Would you like to say hello to... Hello. Uh, <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> hey, take it over the back if you want to. Especially those people at the next table. Ja nie wiadomo. Ale to jest w ogóle do tego. Nie. 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 Especially the small intestine, you need to scoop that away from you. You feel how deep you can go. Yeah? And now you're deep enough. Now orientate your arm in that direction because you, you need to go in that direction. Okay, so a little bit like that. There. Now, a little deeper. Now, ask the patient, breathe in. There it is. Did you feel it? Out. Now it disappears. You feel it? In. Now we're going to hold it to annoy him. <laughs> Did you feel it? So you can literally feel something go like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> hello, I'm here. That's the stomach. Okay? Good. Try again. Okay? Don't be so gentle to her. She can handle it. Okay, stay close. Now, get his hand. In his arm. Oh, Jesus, yes. You're gonna see Jesus and God together. Okay. Now, this edge is going to push away for a small intestine. There. there. Uncomfortable? Okay, let's go a little bit higher. And just get the skin out of your way. Take a little bit of slice of the skin. And then. Any stomach problems or intestinal problems? No, ah, it's hurt there. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Push there. No. She now breathes in. Oh, there it is. Out. So gone. In. Oh, there it is again. Too. Felt it? Again. Boom, there it is. Now, if we're going to be annoying, sorry for that, we keep the pressure out. Now, breathe in. Deep, 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 deep. Yeah, you really feel that pressure against your head. Okay? That's the stomach you feel. It's coming down. It's making this movement. Like that. A little bit like this. It comes down, in. Like that. That. That's the mobility of the stomach. Okay? Go ahead, try again. No. Ah, no, but I can see you were doing this. You need to push away his small intestine and go much deeper. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you sure you want to steal me this yeah. subject? Yeah. Okay, so push away. There, underneath. There. Good. Now, there. Now, wait, wait, wait. Much deeper. Push away that small intestine. Yeah. You see how deep you are now? You're almost not on the table, that would be a little bit too much. But now, breathe in. There it is. Boom. Out. In. Boom. So you literally feel it coming against your hand. Now, we're going to be annoying. That's pressure in. Yeah. And hold that pressure here. He can't breathe in because he feels the pressure. Okay? Yeah, 
Quite good, very good. Okay. She's very happy with you. Now breathe in. Oh, there it is. She's easy. Yeah. Easy stomach. In. There it is. Uh, now we're going to be annoying. Keep the pressure. You breathe in deep. Very deep. Deep, 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 deep. Oh, did you feel that coming up? Yeah, that's your soft one. Okay, are you ready? Oh, I can live with it. Okay, so first of all, we need to go down and push those away. Away, go quite deep. Deeper. Deeper. There we are. Yes. <laughs> Careful, if we put that sound on the video, they're going to think, what the hell are they doing? <laughs> okay, now, push up. Breathe in. Breathe in. There it is. Out. In. There it is. Out. In. There it is. Out. Now it disappears. In. Out. Now we're going to try and follow it. In. Boom. Now, give a little bit of pressure here. Pressure there. He breathes in deep. A lot of pressure. Okay? And you can literally feel how it's pushing you away. Okay? Very good. Okay, let's look. Okay. To make it easy, if you feel like you don't have the tendency to go deep enough, just get the table a little bit lower, and then you can use your body weight, okay? That makes it easier. Yeah, good. Help Josh. Yes, he's got a very low xiphoid. Okay, he's got a big sternum. It's like me, I also got like a very big sternum. Some people have a xiphoid up here, okay? Yeah, so he's got a quite low one. Nicely protect the chest. So, first thing is, take your hand like this, push away the small intestine. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He likes you, he's smiling at you. Okay, now, there we go. Pull up. Yeah, breathe in, my dear. There it is. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, no fuck, just the stomach. Okay, go. <laughs> Sorry. He's carried, getting carried away. Okay, in. Out. Yeah, so it's quite strong, isn't it? In. There it is. Can you feel it? Boom. Out. In. Boom. There it is. And now it's pushing, pushing against her hand. Out. Let's now follow it. In. There it is. That's come, 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 come. Big. Isn't it? It's really pushing. Out. In. Now he likes it. Now we're gonna hold it in. Ah, yeah, he looked very nasty, didn't he? <laughs> okay? That's a nice feeling. So you can literally fit it easy on. Okay. 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 So to make it easier, start here. Okay? So you can literally push those small intestines away. Go deep. Okay, now this one here, and use your body weight. So get your body weight above. Yeah. Now go deep. Deep, deep there. Okay, patient, breathe in. There it is. Boom. Can you feel it? Now follow it. In. Boom. Now keep it deep, don't be worried. Oh, did you feel that? That was. Transit, yes. Coffee went to the DD. <laughs> Chinese food. Uh, yesterday, 35 hours ago. <laughs> we need to get out of here. <laughs> okay. In. Now, we're gonna now follow it, okay? In. Follow it down. Now, up. In. Use your body weight. Use your body weight. Push down from your body. Good. In. Now we're going to hold. Oh, he loves this. You see? He tries to breathe in, but he can't. Breathe in. Come on, try. Ah. Yeah? And he can literally feel the compression building because we're holding his stomach and the diaphragm is trying to come down. You saw the video.
Cześć, słuchajcie, przejdziemy sobie, pojawiło się pytanie, ile jest asystentów podczas takich zajęć. Przejdziemy się teraz na drugą salę, pokażę Wam od wewnątrz, jak wyglądają pomieszczenia FIKO Polska, FIKO Stopak i Academy. Już zerkniemy sobie po drugiej stronie Juri, którego przez chwilę mogliście zobaczyć. Prowadzi zajęcia dla trzeciego roku. I widzę, że na sali teraz tak, razem z Jurim zajęcia współprowadzi Piotr Rakowiecki i jeszcze na sali jest jeden z asystentów, więc trzy osoby przynajmniej są w chwili obecnej na taką grupę, jaką widzicie. Chyba, że jeszcze dziś nie dostrzegam, a widziałem Ewa, która jest asystentką, była na sali. Jeśli macie jakieś pytania, piszcie na bieżąco. Ja w miarę możliwości oczywiście będę na nie odpowiadać. Wracamy na salę do warsztatów. Być może macie jakieś pytania do Tima. Ja mogę spróbować w Waszym imieniu je również zadawać, więc piszcie śmiało. Oh, 
probably going to be a bit nasty. We're going to hold it. We did. Ah, there's the beef steak. <laughs> no, we don't want to see the beef steak, so let's not do that. Okay. Now you can feel it. You can go much deeper. You need to soup it in with more time. Just yeah, to try to soup it. Just you need it more, then you're going to feel that stomach which you yeah. yeah. Just need it. Yeah, but just make sure you take the slack of the skin away. Yeah, so. Exactly. Go down. That's what you think. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Good. Very good. <laughs> Take some skin down here and then push away the intestines. Mm -hmm. Like with a sweeping movement, you can go much deeper there. There you are, underneath the rib. See how deep you are? Yeah. Be careful of the spleen, don't push too much on the spleen. Now keep a straight angle here. Use your body weight, flex your legs. Back into the sides, very good. Now you can pull up here, and if she breaks in, and here. Słuchajcie, zrobimy sobie chwilę przerwę. Jak tylko zaczną, zacznie się kolejna sesja teoretyczna, praktyczna, kolejne techniki, zaraz e, będę dalej nadawać. Ja nie będę zakańczać teraz tego live'a. Ustawimy kamerę tak, żeby nie krępować. Do zobaczenia za chwilę, 3 minuty przerwy.
you can literally feel that as a there it is. Now, when we feel the stomach, we go with it. In, there it is. No, breathing deeper. There it is, follow it. Um, to mobilize the stomach. With some of you I did it, I already took your hand and I started moving up and down with your hand to start mobilizing the stomach in supine position. However, how can you make it easier for the stomach to be on your hand? Put the patient in sightline position and it will make it a lot easier for you to access the stomach because it will come from underneath the ribs a little bit onto your hand. So put the patient in right sightline position. Who's going to be the patient? Your mother bitch. Okay. Good. Yeah. That's my bitch. 
I'll be a bitch if you want to. <laughs> okay, so this time, ask the patient to come backwards a little bit, put your hands so they don't fall off the table. Okay, get the table up. Now, again, to relax the patient, flex the head. Okay, get the hands. Nice and up, so that they're not in your way. Flex the legs of the patient. Okay? Literally, you put them a little bit like in a fetus position. Get the table nice and high. Now, just be careful, gentlemen or ladies, when you put your arm, your elbow is not in a position where you don't want to be. Yeah. You understand what I'm trying to say. Okay? Then, again, palpate the left costal arch. Till you reach the xiphoid. And now you can have your helping hand at the back. But you can even turn it this way and come close with your osteopathic abdomen. When you become an osteopath, you need an osteopathic abdomen. I am still training. <laughs> you need to do a lot of sit-ups <laughs> to get a big muscle. Okay. Make contact from the back, but my abdomen is much bigger than my hand. Again. Scoop in, but do remember now, the stomach is already going a little bit to medial. Not a lot. Okay? You don't notice anatomy yet, but it's connected to the spleen by a ligament, gastroleonalis. So it's not going like, oh shit, boom. Yeah, falling to the other side, it won't do that. Like in your musculoskeletal system, I explained to you, there are ligaments. Okay, scoop underneath. And now the nice thing is, I can immediately feel that stomach on my hand. Ask your patient, breathe in and follow that movement down. Out, supinate your hand up and push. In. Down. Out, let the patient come back. In. Push. Out. In. Let the stomach come down. Push. And then try to literally stimulate the stomach to come down. Up. Read in. Out. Up. Okay? Follow that movement. The stomach is doing this. As you saw in the videos of those fluoroscopies, it comes to caudal. It internally rotates. And it side bends to the left. Combined, the movement is. That. That's what you have to follow. Each time the diaphragm comes down. Up. Down. And up. Okay? In gentlemen, the diaphragm is approximately at nipple height ventrally. In females, probably two, but the nipple can vary. Sometimes it's at knee height. You don't know. So it's not the diaphragma, it's the nipple. Okay. Um, and now, in, 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 and out. In, out. Okay. Pull it down. In, push from the back. Out. The nice thing is, in a lot of patients, okay, you will feel and also hear sometimes a lot of gurgling and Sometimes you feel contractions. Sometimes they go, sorry. Totally normal. Okay. I like the sideline mobilization. One of the most 
lubi mobilizację wrażenia bokiem jako You can constantly see the face of the patient. But because of being in that little bit of fetal position, they are nice and relaxed in the abdomen, much more than in supine. And the stomach, just by gravity, is already approximated to your abdominal hand. So get the patient close to the edge of the table. Get it at a height where you can literally use your abdomen to push in each time the patient is breathing in, so to give some counter pressure. Same hand positioning. Remember the movement. Stomach comes down. Internally rotate. Side bends to the left. Combined. That. Okay. Want to try? Nie pytania. Nie ma pytań? Zróbcie technikę. Okej. Okej, to nie ma tak. Nie, well. I'm better at asking you beer. Jeden kasztelan proszę.
skin which is on top of the stomach is not going to do the deal. I went to see many visceral classes in my career. Okay. Some magic osteopaths were even treating from a distance. Honestly, I saw a few people who were really good at this. Their hands were very deep. Can you imagine this was a quite superficial structure? Your duodenum is at this depth of my body. So you may think twice how deep my fingers will go when we're going to be working on that one. Or assessing that one. You need to really dig into the abdomen. Because otherwise you're not going to be able to palpate. Understand? Okay. Other functional problems could also be seen in symptoms, not just what you palpate. A problemy funkcjonalne też mogą być widziane w objawach, nie tylko w tym, co palpujecie. Patient might not have a good gastrointestinal reflux disease or any uh, ulcers or any gastritis. Pacjent niekoniecznie musi mieć chorobę fluksową, nie, nie musi mieć zapalenia błony śluzowej, żołądka czy obrzodzeń. But the patient might tell you symptoms such as I gave in the beginning. Oh, you know, when I've eaten, it takes like hours before my food disappears, or I've eaten and immediately I start to feel cramps. These are functional problems. Ale pacjent może zgłaszać, że po jedzeniu a, ma wrażenie, że godzinami zajmuje wstępienie tego pokarmu z żołądka albo od razu po jedzeniu, czyli skurcze tego typu funkcjonalne problemy. Już podczas pracy, kiedy z jakimś problemem, kiedy czujemy te symptomy, już podczas pracy te symptomy będą przechodzić. So I if długo się patient utrzyma, has these symptoms pracy. during the uh, work, during treatment, they should disappear and for how long the uh, result will stay. If the problem in the stomach is functionally dissolved, then the problem stays away. A jeżeli problem funkcjonalny został uh, rozwiązany, wtedy objawy już zostają usunięte. But you understand, if somebody has, for instance, a gastric bypass surgery, ale może sobie wyobrazić, jak ktoś ma na przykład uh, jest powstrzymiem bypassu, and they start to have this pain in between the shoulder blades, I tak maybe up there and there, mieć ból między upadkami, może gdzieś tu i na boku. Do you think you can fix it? Myślisz, że to naprawisz? You might be able to make it a little bit better. Może sprawisz, że będzie trochę lepiej. But the internal surgeon has literally changed structurally the situation, maybe even damaged the situation, created scar tissue. You don't have magic hands. You can't go like hocus pocus, pats, new stomach. That's impossible. So sometimes there are damages also after tumors. A czasami są uszkodzenia na przykład po nowotworach. Big gastric ulcers with perforations. Po dużym obrzedzeniu żołądka z perforacją. But in that case the patient will know. Ale w tym wypadku pacjent będzie wiedział. They will tell you. I wam o tym powiem. This is why in the education you see a whole lot of pathology about things you can't treat. A dlatego w trakcie kształcenia jest mnóstwo zajęć z patologii o, o, o rzeczach, których nie możecie leczyć. A dużo zajęć z diagnozy różnicowej. Because you need to be able to also exclude the things which are not for you. Bo musicie być w stanie wykluczyć rzeczy, które nie są dla was. Because you can't treat stomach cancer. Bo nie jesteście w stanie wyleczyć jaka żołądka. But you need to be able to detect or understand the symptoms. Ale jesteście, musicie być w stanie rozpoznać objawy albo zrozumieć jak to działa. So if you see somebody with a nodule here, after the education, you know that's a bad indication for gastric Okay. No, not really. If there are the typical, general uh, problems, of course, Somebody with an acute gastritis. Chyba są ogólne przeciwwskazania, jak ostre zapalenie błony śluzowej żołądka. Especially when it's bacterial or viral. Zwłaszcza wirusowe, bakteryjne. Okay, they're not gonna like you. To pacjentowi się to nie spodoba. Chronic ulceration is no problem. Przewlekłe obrzodzenie nie jest problemem. Acute perforated or acute ulcerations. Ostre obrzodzenie czy z perforacją. Okay, I'll go. To nie. How do you know somebody has a gastric ulcer? A po czym poznać, że ktoś ma obrzydzenie żołądka? Easy test. Łatwy test? 
Lift the stomach. Podnosimy żołądek. That doesn't hurt. To nie boli. Suddenly, when they breathe in, sorry, out. I nagle kiedy był wydech. The diaphragm goes up. Pod, przypona się podciąga. Drop the stomach. To puszczacie żołądek. If it drops and stretch, creates pain. I jeżeli to, to on opada i osiąga się i to powoduje ból. And I don't mean. Oh. Nie znaczy w sensie. Oh. I literally mean. Na zasadzie oh. tego typu ból. Oh my God! What the fuck did you do? Moi Boże, co żeś mi zrobił? Then you know there might be an ulcer. To wtedy możecie się spodziewać, że jest tam drzut. Okay. So you're not sure, but if you see that, nie jesteśmy pewni, ale jak widzicie coś takiego, don't take any risks. To nie ryzykujcie. Because imagine you do some techniques. Wyobraźcie sobie, że robisz jakieś techniki. And you create a perforation. I spowodujecie perforację. How many hours do you have before the patient dies? To ile godzin mu zostaje pacjentowi przed śmiercią? That will probably come after 48 to 72 hours. Pewnie umrze w ciągu 48 do 72 godzin. Okay, you get a peritonitis, acute peritonitis. Pojawi się ostre zapalenie otrzewne. And the patient will not live long. I pacjent długo nie pożyje. Okay, so you don't want that on your name. Więc nie chcecie mieć tego na swoim sumieniu, na swoim koncie. I always say, I receive and sorry. Zawsze mówi, że lepiej dmuchać na zimne. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, dziękujemy bardzo. If you have any questions. Jeśli macie pytania. Because a lot of people were asking. There are some students here, of course, but there are also a lot of people asking about the education. Okay, I have a few There is also the brochure if you want one. Okay, so you have a Okay, or if you have any other questions, feel free to email Sylvia on the secretariat at osteopathy.academy. And if your stomach is not too empty yet, there is still some classes going on, but that's more structural techniques. If you wish, you can still join the class next week. Keep an eye on the website and on the Facebook page. There will be more of these workshops from time to time. Or if you want to organize a workshop somewhere in your neighborhood, Aby chcielibyście zorganizować w swojej okolicy taki warsztat? Feel free to ask and we'll see what we can do. A to możecie z, e, nam dać o tym e, znać i zobaczymy, co się da z tym zrobić. Thank you very much for your attention. Dziękujemy za uwagę i do zobaczenia w wkrótce. Dziękuję. 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 Dobra, słuchajcie, idziemy na kolejne zajęcia. Nie wiem, czy jesteście zainteresowani. Proszę dać znać w komentarzach. Staram się utrzymywać kontakt ze sobą. Side shift. 
I robimy side shift. Side shift. Key to side event. Trzymamy side event. Trzymamy side shift. Robimy. Testujemy rotację. Retrakcja. Retraction switch and technique. Retrakcja jest bardzo kluczowym punktem tej technice, bo ona załącza tę technikę tak naprawdę. Musicie pamiętać o tym komponencie. Testujemy barierę, wracamy. Zawsze pamiętamy na nos, patrzymy na nos pacjenta. Jest w płaszczyźnie strzałkowej. Jak testujemy barierę, to ta oś zaczyna się nam pochylać. Jeżeli wyprosi, że włożył to do buzi, Light needs to stay on the ceiling. To światełko musi zostać cały czas na suficie. Don't have the light on ever. Staramy się nie kierować światełka na ever, tak żeby tego tej rotacji nie było za dużo. So, how does it look real time? Jak to wygląda naprawdę? Light on C zero. Ręce przy sobie, łokcie przyciągnięte do ciała, testujemy rotację, retrakcja, testujemy rotację, side bend, side bend, w momencie, kiedy jest bariera, staramy się zwiększyć kompresję kierunkową do segmentu. Sprawdzamy rotację, tak żebyśmy tej rotacji nie przegięli. I bardzo delikatny, luźny impuls. Przed ramionem. To jest jedyny impuls. Tam nie ma żadnej spektakularnej. This is a key. Yes, delicate, very short. If I change the side, I change the legs. I change the legs. Retraction, retraction, side bend, side shift, and compress. Rotation, very key. And at the very just impulse. In the moment of barrier, the impulse just looks like that. Nothing more. Except for rotation, yes. Except for rotation, no. Don't go for the what we call mid range. Tak, staramy się nie przechodzić z rotacją dalej niż niż ten środkowy zakres ruchu stawu. Two things to avoid: extension or protraction and rotation. We stay out of these two companies. Staramy się trzymać z daleka od nadmiernej rotacji i protrakcji. If I go down, the cervical spine. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I change the applicator. I put the applicator at the low level. Jak będziemy schodzić poziomy w dół, to aplikator nam się przesuwa. I keep the helping hand on the head for support. A ręka pomagająca jest cały czas na C0, czyli trzymamy w głowie. I test rotation. Testujemy rotację. Retraction. Retrakcja. Test rotation. Test rotacji. Side shift. Side shift. It's a very safe component. To be very, very, very good component. Side bend. Find the barrier. Staram się szukamy bariery. Keep the compression. Trzymamy kompresję. And then again the impulse. Impulse is bardzo delikatny i bardzo mały. Don't go for extension. Don't go for rotation. 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 Don't go And specifically, don't go there. Staramy się nie iść zbyt dużo w wyprost i zbyt dużo w rotację, a w szczególności staramy się zmniejszać rotację. Revision C0 C1 supine rotation. Good. Ready to go. Practice. Odrzesu. No to jeszcze udało się załapać na odpórkę manipulacji z Cezaru C1. Słuchajcie, bardzo dziękuję za te kilka godzin, które wspólnie spędziliście ze mną. I do zobaczenia następnym razem. Pozdrawiam.